So the hand washing technique first starts with getting the hands wet. Okay. And then getting some soap. And the first step is starting by lathering up the soap between the palms. Next step, the backs of the hands. And you, one hand and then the back of the other hand and go in between the fingers. The next step, we want to get these surfaces of the backs of the fingers. So we interlock our hands like this and then we switch. Next step, don't forget the thumbs. The thumbs are an appendage which is sticking out outside of the hand, outside of that area. And when we get each thumb, we want to rotate, really get friction to get, get the germs to go away. Okay. Next step, uh, don't forget the fingertips. The fingertips um, are special places where the germs like to hide out because they're not smooth, right? You have a, a nail. A nail plate is the medical name. And so you want to make sure that you soak up those fingertips well and we don't hide germs underneath the fingernails. And you do that by taking one palm and rotating the fingertips in there nice and firmly and then the other. And then a technique I develop especially is I like to pull back the, the fingertip flesh from each of the fingernail plates to get soap right underneath there, right under the, the tip of the finger, okay, like that. Okay. Next step, okay. what about the wrists? Make sure the wrists, because the wrists are attached to the hands, right? And we didn't really wash our wrists, so you want to make sure you have a nice rotational movement and get the wrists. Okay. And then, um, we're pretty much done. We have to wash off the soap. Okay. Now you notice, when a lot of us go to uh, public restrooms, we don't want to touch the faucets or the exit or entry door, doors with our hands. I often use like a paper towel to do that. But the last tip I can give you is the temperature of the water you use is up to you. I like uh, warm water. It doesn't have to be hot, but if it were cool, you know, it, it would just serve its purpose just as well.